Can you believe that son of a bitch? I know! It's as if he doesn't have anything better to do than harass us! I do miss Peach, though. Really? No! Well, what do you want to do now, Mario? Let's go pay off our new house! Okie dokie! Our new house. Our old house. Not so fast, Mario Brothers. I recognize that voice. Scott Masterson? That's right. Wait, I thought you were eaten by cannibals. <laughs> well, they started to eat me, but I guess I didn't taste good. <sighs> Whatever. Why are you here? I don't work for that evil group any longer. Well, that's good. I work for a different evil organization. The IRS. Why? I'm taking you brothers down with the law. Oh, great. <sighs> Listen, this next part is filled with some boring tax information and some legal jargon that would only be appreciated by the likes of Alan Greenspan. So I'm gonna do you guys a favor and skip the next five minutes, okay? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> You two are clearly not U.S. citizens, which is a violation and is grounds oh. for a hearing. More, 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 more. Violation of Section 504B. More, 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 more. And unless you pay $25,000 today to me, the U.S. will own this house. Ooh, I Really should have been paying attention. Mario, accent. What do you mean, $25,000? That's right, Mario. You will suffer, as I have suffered. How about this? I pay you nothing, and then you'll be our band manager again. Are you serious? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Wait, really? And I get 30%? 10! 20! 15! 18! 16! 17! 10! Deal! Thank you very much, Mr. Masterson! Do you know what we do now, boys? 80s style montage where we write new music? Yes! The only logical choice. Yeah! Music montage! Mario and Luigi are writing stuff down and Scott is laughing maniacally And now Mario is playing guitar while Luigi is banging on some tires I don't know why we are trusting this guy cause in the past he totally tried to kill us But what the heck we're really stupid Kinda like the name of this show which I mentioned to tie into this song within this episode of Stupid Mario World because we like self-referential better humor all right, boys, what do we have so far? I finally memorized the French alphabet. And I finally ride with hypochondriac. You owe me $25,000. Good day. But, Mario, how are we going to get that kind of money? It's all right, Luigi. I know a guy. So, Snake finally got a place in Feral City. Yup. So he's the guy you know? Yup. Snake is a trained stealth professional. If anyone can sneak into a place, take money, and get out without being seen, it's him. So you want to steal it? Technically, yes. Hold on, Mario. We don't steal. We're the good guys. We kill turtles and brown mushroom things and slam our heads into bricks for coins. Your point is received. And besides, is it really stealing when it was my money to begin with? And that's why we need you to sneak in, steal his money, and give it to me, us. Let me get this straight. You want me to break into Donkey Kong's house, steal the money that he sleeps on, 
at the risk of dismemberment and give all the funds to you. Yes, that's basically what I just said. But why DK? He still owes me residuals from 1981. There's only one problem, Mario. What? I think you must have forgot that you still owe me $10,000. Ah, I thought you forgot about that. Don't forget that I have the memory of a fox. Do foxes have good memory? Yes, they do. I'll tell you what, buddy. You break in and steal the money. Give me five grand, and we'll call it even. It was a mistake coming here. We got a deal. Better than paying ten grand, Mario. <sighs> Fine, deal. But next time, get a couch. Excellent. How are you going to sneak in? I don't know. Mario, you must become quick and silent, like a cat. One's a decoy! You damn dirty ape! <laughs> it's not about you anymore, monkey! <laughs> You're in Mario's world now, bitch! <laughs> Mission complete, Snake. One step closer to paying off my taxes. Excellent. Meow. So DK had 15 grand in his suitcase. Yup, but then I had to give five to Snake. Which puts us at 10. Yup, just $15,000 to go. So what are we gonna do now, Mario? Who says we have to do anything? Masterson didn't give us a deadline. <laughs> you're probably wondering what your deadline is. Yes, Mr. Masterson, when do we owe you? <laughs> so glad you asked. As of 2 p.m. this afternoon, you have two weeks. Two weeks? Impossible! I'm afraid that's how it is, boys. Well, I'm not afraid to tell you to shove it up your... Two weeks is fine, Mr. Masterson. Good. I'd hate for something horrible to happen to your house. <laughs> what a total 
little asshole! Where are you going? Back to the warp pipe? I don't know. I'm out of ideas. But Mario, we've been in and out of the Mushroom Kingdom so many times. If we go back now, they'll expect us to stay. That was the warp pipe. Maybe it's Peach with a cake. It could be Bowser with an army of Goombas. Daisy? Yeah? What... what are you doing here? Oh, are you two the only ones allowed to be in the real world? Uh, I just meant that... Shut up! Do you two have any idea what I've been through? No. Well, that skank Peach was being a real ass butt. Uh, could you elaborate more? Peach and her friends are never nice to me. They're the biggest bullies. Talking behind my back, I never did anything to them. Wow, I had no idea. Peach has friends? Clearly her ego doesn't leave enough room for two princesses in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, what are you gonna do? I'm moving in. Whoa, hold on. We've got enough problems right now, and we owe a ton of money to the IRS. I've got $3,000. Cash. <gasps> I'll show you to your room, right this way. This does not mean we're back together. Luigi, get my bag. Well, Luigi and I have a room upstairs and downstairs. Um, I guess you can have the couch? Whoa, 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 whoa. I may be humble, but I'm still a princess. I require a bedroom. I'll take the one upstairs. What? But that's my bedroom. Come on, Luigi. You don't need a bed. Oh, yeah? Well, what about my chronic neck backache-itis? That sounds made up. It is. But that doesn't disqualify it as the rational basis of an excuse. You're being ridiculous. This is my house! Hey! Let's all calm down. Thank you. I say we settle this the old-fashioned way. We kick her out? No. We have a Mario Kart tournament. Montage? Montage. Montage! Winner is Daisy! I'm the best! Oh no! Eight hours later. Brr, brr, brr. Assholes. The next day. <sighs> hey Luigi! Are you okay? You seem a little... run down. Well, maybe it's because I had to sleep out here on the couch and you're too cheap to turn on the heater! Huh. Well, let's see. Why might I be trying to save money? I don't know. Maybe it's because we owe $25,000! And you only have two weeks left. I can still hear that jerk in my ear. You only have two weeks left, Mario. We have 
13 grand. How are we gonna get the remaining 12? I just remembered! Wario found a ton of pirate gold out in the woods! There were pirates in the woods? Yeah, and there was also a ton of ninjas. You know, our lives have been so screwy, it's hard to keep up sometimes. Yeah, it would have made a good web show. But wait, wasn't that gold used to pay rent on this house back in the day? You really think that Wario had the energy to carry all that gold? Please, he told me where to find the rest, in case we ever needed it. Wario, aren't you worried about the pirates? Ha! The only pirates these days are the ones on the internet! Ha. Huh. I don't understand. It was supposed to be along this trail somewhere. We've been looking for over an hour. Maybe Wario just took it all for himself. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> what? What was that noise? <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you boys think you'd be running off to? Uh, uh, just, uh, taking a walk? You wouldn't be looking for buried treasure, would you? Hey, how did you- No! <laughs> Nothing like that at all! Because they say this land be cursed. Every treasure will only bring you death and pain. You know... A healthy combination of flossing and brushing is sure to get rid of that nasty breath. <laughs> you boys are a funny lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we better get going. All right. I won't hold you boys up anymore. But beware! These woods are haunted. Haunted. A strange person. Don't be fooled so easily, Luigi. He's obviously just trying to scare us so he can have the treasure all for himself. Oh, yeah, come on, let's go. Mario, look! It has my name on it! Huh. Don't tell me it's from Bowser. Huh. No, it's from Wario. Oh, well, what does it say? It says... <clears throat> Hi, butt faces. If you, you are, are reading, reading this letter, then I am sorry, but I needed the rest of the gold for an outback walkabout I am planning on taking with Mona. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, and tell Frank he can stop scaring people away. He was protecting the gold, and I knew you two were the only ones stupid enough to keep looking, looking after, after his, his warning. warning. I tried to tell him myself, but uh, I think this is just who he is now. Well, no gold. <sighs> yeah. But, but Mario. waste of time! Well, maybe we should get a lawyer to help us sort all this out. You're joking! A lawyer? That would cost us, like, a ton! Did somebody say a lawyer? Hi! John Albert Cunningham is the name, financial advisor and tax attorney. Wow, that seems both too good to be true and hard to believe convenient. Uh, Mario? What? Don't you think it's a bit odd that this guy looks exactly like Waluigi? Hey! A lot of people look like Waluigi. Gentlemen, my name is Sir Drake St. Dubonair III. Hi, guys. I am a butler, your butler, Gerard. I told you to rotate all the toilet paper so that it rolls counterclockwise with a fold at the end in the shape of a triangle. We're trying to convey overtones of subtle maturity and wisdom, not an aura of I still live with my mother and haven't had a girlfriend in three years. From Mona? See? Well, let's see, uh, including paper fees, paper filing fees, computer charges, data charges, intern charges, personal expense account, corporate expense account, and my, uh, personal fee. That's a grand total of only seven grand. That's a steal. Seven grand? 
That's more than half of what we have. What benefits do we get? Well, my job is to talk to the IRS and uh, smooth everything over and not uh, possibly get your feet completely waved. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say possibly? <laughs> I said I'll talk to the IRS and not possibly get your feet completely waved. Completely waved. Gone. So we pay seven grand so that we might save 25 grand? No, 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 you gotta look at it like this. You're paying seven grand to eliminate completely the need to pay 25 grand. Possibly. No good. Lawyers. All right, we'll do it! Ha, excellent, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Yay! That's the spirit, buddy. I mean, Scott will have to negotiate now, right? <laughs> it's not like he's evil or anything. <laughs> so, now what are we doing, Mario? You're waiting. I have a bad feeling we gave that guy our money and he just took off. You mean like, maybe he wasn't a real lawyer? Yeah, I mean, how many times have we been swindled? This week or all time? All time. I lost track. Hey Mario, who's that? Come on. I'm looking for the Mario Brothers. That's us! I'm with the IRS. Your lawyer sent us a strongly worded letter. You're with the IRS? Why didn't they send Scott Masterson? Ah yes, that's why I'm here. You see, there's no one by that name in our employ. Wait, you mean that Scott doesn't even work for the IRS? Exactly. Based on your family history, your inheritance of the deed, and your service to the community, this house is yours, free and clear, with no strings attached. Ha! That's what I thought! Hoped! Hoped! Of course, now, this Masterson fellow will owe us a huge fine for impersonating an IRS agent. Ha! Looks like we can keep our 13 grand! Six grand! Huh? We had to give our lawyer seven grand, remember? Oh yeah, dang. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh... Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it sounded like your name was... Tom Brady. It is Tom Brady. Like the football player. I do get that sometimes, yeah. Whatever you say. So what are we going to do about Scott? That no good trickster. I can't believe he would stoop this low. You can't? This is Scott Masterson we're talking about. The guy hasn't been honest a day in his life. But you believed him. Well, who would lie about working for the IRS? An asshole trying to rip you off? Yeah. So, what do we do? What can we do? He's got us in a pickle for sure. Are you two really that stupid? Don't answer that question. Don't you realize? What? You're the Mario Brothers. He's just one guy. A pretty unspectacular ordinary fellow. What are you getting at? You two have beaten monsters beyond imagination. Yeah? You have slain evil and saved lives. Yeah? You guys are the Super Mario Brothers. Yeah! Let's get that jerk. Oh, Mario. Come on. You're welcome, guys. I'll just wait here then. It's been two weeks. Where's my money? Yeah, about that. Ha! I don't like the sound of that. You're a crook, Masterson. You don't even work for the IRS. Oh, <laughs> I see you've discovered my little secret. <laughs> it wasn't hard. A simple letter to the IRS weeded you out. Well, you see, I'm getting that money. So hand it over! So this is what happened to the great Scott Masterson. Just a common thug, getting money at gunpoint. I'm serious! You don't think I'll shoot? You won't have time to shoot. Oh yeah? And why? 
because when there's a fireball in your face, it's hard to aim. Don't forget, we have fireballs. Ugh, you stupid Mario brothers. Yup, here to stay. You haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back with reinforcements. Yeah, right. Get out of here, scumbag. Ugh. All right! And we have six grand to keep. Actually, I require six grand for making a house call. What? You're joking! I never joke. <sighs> Fine, I'll send you a money order. Thank you, and good day. Well, at least we got ourselves out of another terrible situation. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong now? Um... I see you're not done moving in. So, what did you want? Uh, Wario called me. What? Why would he call you? Because you never charge your phone. It's true. Oh. Here, take mine. Thanks. Oh, stupid Wario. So, what did Wario want? Whatever it is, I'm out. Fair enough. Come on, Wario, pick up. Hello, you've reached Target customer service. Oh, uh, sorry, I must have the wrong number. It's never the wrong time for Target. Your call with Wario can wait. How did you know that? Here at Target, we have deals on all of your favorite items because we made deals with all the big companies, assuring that all your favorite items are found only here at Target. Can I please speak to Wario? No! Me back. Well, I tried, but I guess Target has an exclusive right to phone service now. Oh, yeah, they get exclusives for everything. Well, anyways, I figured you'd come here, and here you are. Indeed I am, my friend. Sorry to get down to business, but this is urgent. I found something. Or should I say... Someone. What happened? Well, I was in Australia with Mona when all of a sudden, crash, bam, cadabra, abracadabra, alakazam! A huge beam of light hit the ground. It looked like a... Like a giant beam sword? Yes, like a giant beam sword. But it vanished quickly like a... Like, like... sorcery? Damn telling a story! Thank you. So Mona and I went to go see where the light touched the ground, and that's where we found Leon. Leon? Yes. And I brought him here. Uh, okay, so where's Mona? Uh, she's still over there, making sure nothing else falls from the sky. Okay, so where's this Leon? <gasps> Leon! Leon! Come here! <laughs> Holy crap! Hey. So, uh, what's your story? It's still a bit hazy, but my memories are coming back. I see you skipped the part where he has amnesia. I thought you could help. I remember now. Wow, really? I could have done that. You should have. My friends and I traveled into the future to battle an evil sorceress. See? Sorcery! <laughs> Sorcery. After a defeat, we attempted to go back to our own time, but I got lost in a time compression. My existence floated between space and time, and I, I saw strange things like Disney characters and gummy ships. But I'm here now. You sure you didn't find this guy at a rave or something? Oh, or... come on, Mario! He's telling the truth! I saw him come out of the sky! Tell him, Leon! <laughs> My name isn't Leon. It's Squall. Squall Leon Hart. Sure, buddy. Sure. So I can't babysit this guy! And what else are you gonna do? Well, Luigi and I have been saving people in Feral City. We're kinda like superheroes. I think they call me something like Super Mario the Red and Blue Crusader. Oh, fancy. How about this? I'll stay in town until he gets his own place, but after that, you let him help out. A person from another time and place? Imagine the possibilities. 
Oh yes, just what I want. An even more crowded house. You know, speaking of crowded, you've got another friend around the corner who's pretty upset he hasn't seen you in a while. Huh? Whatever. Yeah. Yoshi! <coughs> hey, don't be like that! <coughs> I know I didn't tell you I was back, buddy, but now it can just be like old times. <coughs> You'll see, Yoshi. Yoshi, my Yoshi, you're my best friend, except for Luigi. Yoshi, oh Yoshi, our journey will never end. Your gender may be ambiguous, but it's good enough for me. Because you're Yoshi I'm sorry, my Yoshi That it's been so long Yoshi, my pal Yoshi But now we're back where we belong forgot to tell you about it. But it's not like you couldn't have had fun with Snake. Are you kidding? I don't think the word fun is in that guy's vocabulary. So what did you guys do then? Ugh. Decorated his house. Hey, that sounds okay. Not when Snake has the imagination of a chipmunk. Hey, don't compare Snake to chipmunks. That's insulting the chipmunks. So where's Wario? Oh yeah, let's go meet up with him. <gasps> not you. What? I need you to entertain Squall. Bye, Luigi! Hmm. Wario? Mario? Wario! Daisy! Wario! How long do we have to have Squall? He's so moody and he's driving Luigi crazy! Well, like I said, until he gets his own place or figures out how to get to his own time. Can't you pay for an apartment? I'm broke! Broke? I thought you had pirate gold! Yep, all is spent in Australia. I could only afford one ticket back. Why do you think Mona stayed behind? I thought you said Mona was watching for more people falling out of the sky. Yeah, what I said. So then where have you been sleeping? Yeah, in Yoshi's doghouse. Why do you think he was so upset yesterday? I thought it was because I hadn't seen him in a while. Yeah, that. What's going on, Wario? You didn't leave your girlfriend behind just to deliver some weirdo and sleep in a dinosaur doghouse. Spill it! Okay, Mona and I broke up, but... Yes, well, when we found Squall, I thought it was the beginning of another adventure. She didn't want me to help him. Last time I had an adventure, I almost died. Ah, I remember that. Well, she said she didn't want to see me hurt again. We argued about it for hours, which was awkward because Squall was in the room at the same time listening to the whole damn thing. Then we broke up. Ow! Idiot, don't you realize she just cares about you? She broke up with me because she cares about me? <sighs> you just don't get women at all. What was I supposed to do? Leave Squall there? Ow! Stop! You should have used the last of your money to send Squall here with a note for Mario. While you stayed safe with Mona, that's what you should have done. 
Whoa, don't look at me, buddy. I'm not a part of this conversation. You need to get your ass back to Australia. How? I got no money. How did you run out of money? Didn't you win the lottery last year? Yeah, and I gave it to Waluigi so he can go to law school. Huh. Waluigi. Law school? Meh. The point is, we need to raise money. Oh, man! Ugh, we just did this! How much? Well, money for me to get there, uh, money for the flowers, balloons, and chocolates for my apology, and money for us to get back to the States. And how much is all that? Ooh, about five grand. Blech. Okay, so what do you propose we do? We could ask Snake. No! <gasps> he can't even afford to decorate his own apartment! Uh, uh, DK and Pauline? No, I already stole from them! What?! Don't you think they're gonna be upset? Ha! What are they gonna do? Those stupid Mario Brothers. <laughs> coming into my house! <laughs> oh, right. I mean, our house. <laughs> and stealing our money! <laughs> he forgot that he gave up the residuals from 1981 in exchange for the rights to wear blue overalls instead of red overalls. You could've just asked, but no! I don't know, DK. But I want to do something... horrible... to the Mario Brothers. Oh? No. Something worse. I'm gonna wrap them out to the power company. <laughs> no! You're I believe that's another killing spree for me. You win again, Squall. But what if I don't want to win? What if I just want to be like everyone else? I didn't ask to win this round of Slayer. In Halo. Are you, like, talking in your head or something? I do that. <gasps> I'm back in the time compression wormhole! I'm going home! Uh, no. That would be my idiot brother not paying the power bill. Oh. It was pretty cold last night. You know, because the power's down and no heater. Mario, you never put the heater on anyway. Oh, right, because I was trying to save money. We don't owe money anymore! Well, it's always good to save money. <sighs> what is the point of saving money on the power bill if you never pay the bill? Just to be inconspicuous? Well, that obviously failed, didn't it? And now we have no power. Can I say something? No! The power company never cared before. Someone must have ratted us out. But who? I smell a gorilla. You see, Mario, this is why you need to be nicer to people. If you had just asked DK for the money instead of breaking and entering, he might have given it to you. Ho oh, ho, that's rich. Coming from the man who used to attack us on Bowser's command. Hey! That was a long time ago. You're right. I'm sorry. Luigi? Y yes, Wario? It's so nice to finally be in a scene with you. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got all this out. Luigi, let's go talk to the monkey. What should I do? Uh, just make sure that Squall isn't trying to blow up the kitchen again. Right. Enjoying your Claire de Bois, Mario? Mmm, yes! And thank you for meeting up with us on such short notice. And for inviting us over to your house. <laughs> yes, imagine coming over after you've been invited. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's just, uh, you know, when you're trying to get out of debt with the federal government and all. Right! <laughs> yep, it's all good now. Yep, paid off. Oh, great. I'm so glad everything worked out for you two. <laughs> you know, the strangest thing happened yesterday. You changed your clothes? No, our power was turned off. <gasps> no! Yeah, for not paying the bill for only six months. Gone. How horrible. It's almost like someone alerted the power company. You don't say. I do say. It's too bad you had to give all that money to the IRS. 
You could have taken care of this. I know! Except, I heard a strange rumor that you didn't really owe any money to the IRS and that you got out of the whole thing. Ha! <laughs> rumors! If that were true, and you kept all the money that you stole from us, <laughs> that would make you a pretty terrible person, wouldn't it, Mario? I get the feeling you know something about our power situation, Pauline! I get the feeling you owe us 15 grand, Mario! The money that you two owe me from 1981! Oh, the money that you gave up to blue overalls? Oh, that was just a joke and you know it! I can wear whatever I want! Then why don't you just wear jeans and a sweater once in a while? I could, but I like overalls better! Where is the money, Mario? Spent on a lawyer and an IRS house call! Aha! So you didn't pay off the IRS! No, but we had to pay to not have to pay it off! That's so backwards! It had to be done! Then why didn't you just ask us for the money? I don't know! I'm sorry! Wow! Wow. Oh, you're right. I could have communicated, explained the situation, <laughs> acted like an adult, not dressed up like a cat. I'm, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for having your power turned off. So, you admit it! Oh my god, you hypocrite! I knew it! I knew it, knew it, knew it! Ha! Well, I'm not sorry at all! And neither am I! You jerk, Mario! You're gonna get what you deserve! <laughs> yeah, right! I bet you think <clears throat> I'm gonna get what you bet you think what? Mario, are you okay? You feel that, Mario? Feels like you can't breathe, huh? Dad's not clear to butt. No, not clear to walk. Poison! Ah, <sighs> what? And not just because you stole my money, but because of the chocolates too. You know, the ones you stole from Snake and poisoned me with? <laughs> Bye, Mario. <laughs> Asuna, Phoenix down! I'm... What? What happened? Well, you died. I did, but I'm alive, right? We've all died and come back to life, Mario. Stop overreacting. Okay, well how did it happen this time? Well this time you're lucky you had Squall here. See, isn't it a good thing that I brought Squall here? Turns out he can provide people killed from poison. Good thing you weren't killed by anything else. So if I got shot or stabbed... You'd still be dead. You can do magic? Uh, there's actually a lot of things I can do. Uh, cure illnesses, cast curses, create fire, engage in combat, summon beasts, fly airships, raise a friend that's been injured, uh, ride giant birds, and generally kick ass. <laughs> Where did you go to school? Wait. Hogwarts? Oh, he's very Amazon! <laughs> or like a military school designed to teach kids how to fight with swords and use magic, man! Oh, you monster! <laughs> yeah, that. Huh? Blam Garden. It's a military academy designed to train seed special forces. You know, I'm gonna stop making those jokes. Uh, Squall, can I have a minute with Mario, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, what's up? <clears throat> uh, what's up? Whoa, what's going on? <clears throat> I, uh, may be losing my accent. What? That happens to people gradually over time, not instantly. It's been happening for a while. <clears throat> Never mind, what did you want to say? Uh, uh, Luigi is talking to DK and Pauline, trying to sort things out. I think we can all be friends again. No more trying to kill each other. Well, that's good. Mario, I just want to say that even though I'm broke, dumped, and living in a dinosaur doghouse. It's still good to hang with you guys again. It's great to have you back, buddy. Another adventure tomorrow? To another adventure tomorrow! Yahoo! Luigi! So, how did it go? Well, Pauline agreed to never poison you again. Oh, good, good, good. Did you ask about the money? Yeah, sorry, Wario. They're not gonna lend the money to you. Oh, poop sticks! 
Well, did you at least pick up the taco lax? Uh, gee, I don't know how to tell you this, buddy, but taco lax shut down last year. What? Well, how could this happen? What am I supposed to eat? Well, we have a wide array of Italian pastas and meats. We do, you know, burn. Fine, I'll have some of that. What did he say? He said you should be more grateful for free food. I'm sorry, Yoshi. I haven't had taco lax in three years. And now I'll never have it again! Actually, you left a burrito in the fridge. And for some reason, I never threw it out. I'll take that. Ew, gross. Wario, that's been in there for three years. Plus, the power went out, so everything in the fridge went bad. Uh, yeah, what he said. Wario, that burrito's like... Legally dead. Don't care, Taco Lax! <laughs> you said it, Yoshi. What are you gonna do? Well, I can cast a fire spell to get the oven working, and then several Asuna spells to get rid of any diseases that I am sure are in that burrito. Will it taste fresh? Well, I'm a fighter, not a chef, but uh... Well, well, we'll get there. Oh, I'm so excited! <sighs> this is gonna take a while. Two hours later. Oh, uh, here you go. Ah, glorious. What's that? It's a smartphone. It knows everything so that we don't have to. So, it's a smartphone that makes people stupid? Uh, pretty much. Ah. Alright, well time to dig into my delicious taco lax burrito. Wario! Wario! Yeah! Wario! You were asleep for over an hour! That burrito gave you a massive food coma! That's because it's so jam-packed with flavor. And beans! They don't call it taco lax for nothing! <laughs> oh, my stomach! Oh boy, here we go! I gotta take the Browns to the Super Bowl! Do you think he remembers that the toilets aren't flushing right now? He will in a minute! One minute later... If only the power was working, we could flush that abomination. Is this the end? EK Thunder! Could it be? Is it the boy? Ness? Hey guys. I was worried you wouldn't get my letter. You sent a letter? I did. I knew that Ness's electricity could power the house back up. That seems impossible, but okay. Yeah, well, I left before I actually got the letter. Remember, I am psychic, so I knew you guys needed my help. I also have a thunder spell. Thanks for asking. So, who's this guy? Really? Really? You psychic but you don't know Squall? Well, he isn't on our own spectral plane. Oh yeah, he comes from another place and time, so that's why you can't read his mind, probably. Yeah, but he's cool. He seems to be good at everything. But... Can he see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch? Actually, science has proven that kids are biologically prone to be addicted to sugar from day one, and that sugar acts as a natural pain reliever and soother for adolescents. Sugar combined with the asinine amount of cinnamon, being the main ingredient in cinnamon toast crunch, can cause a euphoric reaction, love. And that's why kids love cinnamon toast crunch. I got nothing. 
Yeah. Making a cake? Yep, sure am. Wanna try? Yes, please! Well, what do you think? This is good! This is much better than what Peach makes! Really? This is incredible! Thanks, Mario! Well, you don't have to thank me. It's delicious! Let's see what everyone else thinks! Mmm. This cake is cold. Mmm. Superb. Wow! Best cake ever! Ah, uh, the best. Thanks for the cake, Daisy. You're the only princess we need around here. Right, fellas? Yeah! Thanks, guys. You're very welcome. <sighs> There's a good scent in the air, Ness. There is, thanks to the baking of the cake. And the trees. Do you ever worry about anything, Ness? You always seem so... in control. I worry all the time. For as much as I'm able to see, there's a lot that I can't see. Like what? For some reason, many of my friends' futures are clouded. I can't see what happens to them, and I don't know why. Well, that's not good. Oh, I wish I could get back to Mona. <laughs> don't worry, Wario. Thanks, Ness. I'm gonna head out now. Tell everyone I said bye. See you, Ness. <laughs> huh? Squaw? Squaw? Where'd you go? So that's when I said, that's no mushroom, that's toad! <laughs> Oh, saute someone else! Oh, that's a kick to the gonads. Oh. Hey, uh, have you guys seen Squall? Uh, he left this morning. Haven't seen him in a couple hours. I'm sure he'll be back. Okay, just wondering. Okay, so anyways, the what about the dinosaur and the monkey? Oh, I love they that go one. to Japan. Hey, Luigi. Where did you go? Well, you guys have been kind enough to let me live here, but I figured it was high time to be responsible and get my own place. You got your own place? Yeah, just a few miles from here in the city. We're actually pretty close to that snake guy. But how will you pay for it? Oh, I got a job as a security guard for the weekly cyberpunk cosplay convention. <laughs> can you believe they thought I was wearing a costume? Uh, yeah, I can believe that. Oh. I guess I won't be bugging you guys anymore. Just let me know if you guys need my help with anything. I'll see you around, Luigi. See ya, Squaw. <laughs> all right. Now the couch is all mine again. <laughs> uh, Wario, what are you going to do about Mona? I don't know. I'm still broke. Oh, no, you're not. Huh? Daisy, what happened to your crown? I sold it. It seems silly to have a friend in need of money when I had golden jewels sitting on my head doing nothing. Daisy, I, I don't know what to say. Just say you'll get her back. Ha! I will! And don't forget to clean up the mess you made in the dinosaur doghouse. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So what was all that about being a princess and everything? Not a princess in this world. <laughs> Thanks, Daisy. No problem. So, Wario, what are you going to do now? You know, I'm going to get Mona back. But first, I'm going to find me more taco legs. Uh... The next day... Well, guys, it's been fun, but back to Australia for me. Well, you'll be back to visit, of course, right? Of course. Yay! And I can't believe you found the only taco legs in existence. And it was only five miles away. Well, you know me, I have a taco lax sonar. Yeah, well, good luck with Mona, buddy. Yeah, I know you'll win her back. Thanks, guys. And you know, no super crazy monsters or bad guys showed up while I was here. Yup, they're all dead. Ha! But if any do show up, you've got that crazy combo in your head. What, you mean Link, Merlin, and Darkness? Yeah, like when you fought Ganon. Ha, no. 
Merlin's spirit passed to the afterlife. Link's spirit went back to Hyrule to create a new hero of time, presumably. And Darkness? I don't know where his spirit went, but it left me for sure. Oh well. <laughs> Wait a minute. The darkness left your brain. All you have to say is, oh well. He's dead. Relax, Wario. I'm sure what was left of him fizzled away. That's a big assumption. Seriously, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, I best be off. Oh, and one more thing, Mario. What's that? When are you going to grow your mustache back? Hmm. Well, the reason I don't like the mustache is because it makes my chin look small. Well, then grow a beard. I think you'll do good with one. Bye, fellas. Bye, Wario! <laughs> what a great guy. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, it was fun. Well, what do you want to do now, Mario? Let's go play some Smash Bros! Okie dokie! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd be looking for crystals. The crystals are my friend. Today and tonight. Ooh, what was that? Sounds like an earthquake. Or perhaps it's just me tum tum. Mm, I think I saw some tasty, delicious stairs walking this way. Mario, you are around here somewhere. Damn, I've got a bad feeling about this. All right, Mario, this is a really important decision. I know, I just don't think I can decide. Pokeballs or no Pokeballs? What about no items at all? What? Lame! Gotta have beam swords at least. Oh, speaking of beam swords, my real beam sword broke. Really? How? I accidentally dropped it off a cliff. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, I asked Frank to find me a new beam sword crystal. Frank? The crazy guy out in the woods? That's him! Anyways, back to Smash. What about eight player Smash? Too boring with just the two of us. Well, where did Daisy go? I don't know, she said she wanted to take a walk outside. Just a walk? She has a very strong sense of smell. And let's just say it's gonna be a few months before Wario's taco-like smell comes out of the walls. Blech. And where's Ness? He had to go back home. That was fast. Yeah, there's some trouble brewing it on it. Well, what about Yoshi? He's at the annual yarn convention. Well, what's Snake up to? I don't know. He hasn't been answering the phone. Ha! Hypocrite. What about Squall? You hear from Squall at all since he left? Nope. Hasn't called or come by. <laughs> Gee, it's like Wario leaves and everything's boring. Well, what would you prefer? Life-threatening situations? Ha! <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen again. Where do you think you're going, Miss Trespasser? I'm looking for Mario. Huh. Isn't everyone? What do you want with Mario? My name is Linkle. I'm from the land of Hyrule. I must speak to Mario at once. Linkle? I am the hero of time. You. Are the hero of time. Yes. When the hero dies. Yes, yes, reborn and all that, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't that long ago. Time works much differently in Hyrule. Hey Daisy, so I've been meaning to ask you, why didn't you come to my wine tasting the other day? You mean when you tried to kill Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Try, please. I did kill him. Mario is dead? Who's this? I'm the hero of time. Hero of time? I thought Link was the hero of time. He was, but he died. I am Linkle. Ugh. I'm so tired of this confusing stuff. I thought Mario said we were done with this crazy crap. Well, I guess he forgot that one way or another, trouble always follows us here. So Mario is alive? Yes, he is alive. What is wrong with you? I have only heard from you two that Mario is a confusing, forgetful, annoying, and possibly crazy undead person. Are you sure you're his friends? You know, it sounds like that, but really, we all love each other. 
I'd like to see Mario now. Mario? Mario? Did you fall asleep? Mario! Mario, can you hear me? Can you see me? Who are you? I am... Mario! Ah! Sorry, I... must have dozed off. Did you hear anything Snake said? I had to leave my apartment. It was surrounded by a bunch of armed forces. After I snuck out, they shot up the whole place. So, they weren't there for questioning? No. They just wanted me dead. Well, why would anybody want to kill you? Isn't it obvious? It was... Konami. My former employer. They want to silence me. I know too much. Wait till you hear this part. Hydeo was the man in charge of Project Metal Gear. But last year he had a problem with the way Konami ran things, so he left. Resources were to go into Plinko machines and phone apps. Hydeo was devastated. I was the soldier assigned to Project Metal Gear. They know Hydeo is my friend and that my loyalty is to him. Without Hydeo, there is no Metal Gear. Guilty by association? Exactly. So they're killing anyone associated with this project. Do you think that Hydeo is going to be okay? I hope so. I've been searching for him. Oh, and Mario, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. I saw a suspicious man in the woods. <laughs> oh, that's just Frank. He thinks he's protecting something out there. No, not him. A crazy light came out of the sky, and a man came down with it. Hmm, that sounds an awful lot like how Squall got here. You guys should ask him if he knows anything. All right, we'll head north. What about you? I'm gonna go find Frank and see if he saw anyone down there. Hey guys. Ah! So you're Squall, huh? How did you sneak up on me? I find that a smart, tactical approach can accomplish any deed. Well, I find that a quiet, stealthy method is the way to go. Tactics. Stealth. Tactics. Stealth. Tactics. Stealth. Can't stealth be a part of your tactics and your tactics include stealth? I don't see how those two are mutually exclusive. <sighs> Luigi, it's all about what word you use to describe your main mode of epicness. I see. Well, if you two egos are done, can we talk about the man in the woods? A man hit the ground. Huh. Well, it doesn't sound like a time compression hole. I just realized. I can't believe I didn't remember before. What? That sounds like a portal to Hyrule. Mario? Luigi? So, where are they? Oh, you know them. Always on the move. No, they usually just sit on their asses. Frank! Frank, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Frank! You gotta stop scaring me like that! Oh, I'm sorry. It's a nasty habit of mine. Oh, did you find a crystal? What's this? Underneath the old castle wall. A nice blue one. Oh, awesome. The old Frankie boy even put it together for you. Wow, that was convenient. Uh, it was no trouble at all, really. It's not like I had much else to do. Ever think about leaving and... Getting a job? <laughs> Boy, you sure do know how to make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Say, Frank, did you see a scary man coming through these woods? Oh, yes, there was a big noise. And then, a little while later, a man in a cloak, very frightening fellow, kept muttering something about killing Mario, or whoever that is. Frank? Yes, me boy. I'm Mario! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, then you'll be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> that guy's gonna kill you. Hmm. A loud noise. You didn't see any light? Nope. So the light wasn't as big as Squall's. A Hyrule portal, perhaps? Oh, yes. That's probable. You know, I heard another one later, too. Two portals? Gee. Who from Hyrule wants me dead? Well, I have no idea. Well, thanks again, Frank. I'll see you next time. All right, dear Mario. Don't forget to say hello to the princess. 
all looking for trees in the forest. This is where he killed you. The great and mighty Ganon, taken down by a plumber. It's enough to make me sick. I may have been hidden away in Termina my whole life, but I know everything that happened here. And believe me when I say that justice will be served. I will destroy Mario and his friends. They will pay for their insolence. And then I shall kill the hero of time and the king of Hyrule. You will be avenged, father. Daisy? Luigi. And I see you brought Snake. That's what took so long. We were doing some recon. Yeah, sorry about that. Squall's on his way. Who's this? This is Linkle. Linkle? So, a girl Link? Well, at least someone understands right away. I didn't think I'd see another Link in my lifetime. You wouldn't have. But I need to tell you something urgently. Well, I need to tell Mario, but I guess you'll do. Uh, thanks, I guess. A man has come here to kill Mario. See? It's not just me. What? I saw him. Dark hooded guy. Looked like bad news. Do you know why he wants to kill Mario? No. Not much is known about him. Other than he comes from Termina. Termina? A realm adjacent to Hyrule. They call him the Dark Lord of Termina. Sounds ominous. He needs to be dealt with right away. He's already destroyed half of Termina. Can he be killed? I'm not sure. Many have tried and died. Did you fight him? Yeah, and he destroyed the two crossbows that I love very much. Crossbows? Well, I would have used the Master Sword, but you guys kept that in this world. Oh yeah, Mario buried that stuff in the woods. I don't know where. How do you know this Dark Lord of Termina wants Mario dead? Well, he wrote Mario dies on a huge building right before he took off. Yeah, that'll do it. Where is Mario? Uh, I figured he'd be back by now. He went to talk to Frank. Mario! Mario! Who is that? Hello, Mario. My name is Rosalina. Rosalina? You do not know me, and perhaps never will. I... don't understand. I am from the future of an alternate universe. I know things, Mario, about who you are and what you will become. Then why? Why have you come here to help me? Your world is in danger, Mario. A powerful foe has come. The man in the forest. Who is he? They call him the Dark Lord of Termina, but his true name is Rathnar. Rathnar? Yes, he's been trained by the best sorcerers and fighters of Termina. He will not be an easy foe. And just why has he come here? For you, Mario. He wants to complete his vengeance. I've never met him. But you killed his father. Ooh. I see. Mario. He is the son of Ganon. And I'm afraid he is even less reasonable than his father. Oh, great. Fear not, Mario. Your friends are with you, and the hero of time has returned. Link is reborn? Yes, but she is different from the Link you knew. Yeah, I'm sure I'll adjust. I must leave now, Mario. I can only do this for a brief time. But wait! Why are you doing this? Who are you anyway? Another time, Mario. Oh, really? Are you sure? Oh, I'm sorry, Monkey Winkins. I'll be right there. What's going on? I'm sorry, I have to go like this. DK is sick and he needs me. It's all right. I'm sure we've got enough people to defend the house. Well, I wouldn't be much help anyway since I stopped being evil and pretty much forgotten how to fight. Yeah. Well, tell Mario I'm sorry I couldn't stay and help. 
you know, I think it would be better if he just never knew you were here. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably good. Well, let's spend some time together one of these days. You know, one of these days where things are normal. Girl, is it ever normal around here? <laughs> good point, girl. Well, stay classy, Daisy. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, Pauline. Bye. Bye. What a crazy bitch. Mario, where have you been? I've just had an incredible vision. Did you fall asleep again? Maybe. Either way, I now know who we are dealing with. Oh, by the way, this is the hero of time, Link, but a girl. Yeah, you can call me Linkle. Linkle, neat. Do you remember everything from before? Well, I don't have all the old Link's memories, but I do share his spirit, and so I share his feelings. And how do you feel about us? I know I can trust you guys. It's a very strong feeling. Interesting. Well, then how do you feel about my pot? I have a strong desire to break it and find out what's inside. What about this chicken? I want to grab the cuckoo and run around with it. And what do you use as money? Rupees! It's Link. Not that we were testing you, just a bit of fun. Did you get your new beam sword? Sure did. You're going to need it. By the sound of it, this Termina guy is going to be another tough one. His name is Rathnar. He's the son of Ganon, and he's come here to kill me. Yes. There was a myth that Ganon had a son, and that he was hidden away somewhere after he was born. It's true. And now he has grown to hate me. How do you want to do this? Well, my guess is that he's slowly making his way here, so defending the house is key. I need a weapon. I'll go get that for you. You guys stay here. So, uh, you're hiding out? From Konami, yeah. Hmm. Uh, you know I live like two blocks away from you. How oh, fascinating. I, I tried knocking on the door, leaving letters, you know, fun little treats, uh, ring the bell. Why? I just wanted a friend. Uh, I don't have friends. Oh really? And what do you call the Mario Brothers? Morons. Well, I've only known them for a couple months, and I call them friends. Good for you. Still, though, it must have been difficult sneaking out of your house with tactics. You mean stealth. Mario, what are you doing? Um, I was eating a delicious meal. There's a guy out there that wants you dead, and you're eating meatballs? You know I can't fight on an empty stomach. Rathbar could burst in here at any minute. First of all, it's Rathnar. And second, I'm building up energy. And what should the rest of us do while you stuff your face? Go tell Luigi and Squall to search up north. Linkle and I will patrol the field. You and Snake, protect the house. Here. Yes, sir, Mr. Acid Reflex. By the way, your beard looks good. Uh, thanks? What's your plan for taking down Rathnar? First, I'm gonna take these calcium tablets. And then second, I'm gonna let him come to me. I highly advise against this course of action. Sneaking in and taking your enemy from behind should be your priority. Yeah, but Snake, I'm not dealing with a bunch of genome soldiers. This guy will see me coming from a mile away. So we'll just go at it face to face. Well, I guess I won't doubt you. You have managed to last this long. But, if I fail, make sure he doesn't get to the house. You got it. Luigi, Squall, Mario said to look for Squashnor up north. I don't get it. If Rathnar's come from the forest, why are we going to the north? Shouldn't we stay here? It'll be easy for someone to flank the house if no one's protecting the north. I see. So you guys are protecting the house as much as you're protecting yourselves. We've been through a lot to protect this house. We aren't losing it now. When Rathnar's dead, do you think that'll be it? No more bad guys? I don't know. I thought we were already done with bad guys. Hopefully this is the last. Well, <laughs> I've got some crazy powerful enemies. Hopefully none of them come here. I hope so too. What if we get bored and we're out there? Should it ring again? Yeah. I've got Settlers of Catan. All right, let's go. <laughs> 
Right. Let's make our way down to the field. Hey, Lincoln, wait up. Sure. Snake was your name? Yeah. Listen, Mario can be a bit stubborn in the way he handles things. Don't worry. I've got his back. Just stay safe out there. Thanks. I hope I ate enough meatballs this morning. Did you get enough breakfast? I had some deku nuts. Deku nuts? That sounds... tasty. They are super high in fiber. Oh, well, that's good. Looking good with the sword, by the way. Thanks. It's strange, but... I feel like a part of me that was always missing has been restored. I feel that way every time I put my hat back on. He comes. Mario, and the hero of time. Thanks for saving me the trouble. Now I can kill both of you at once. You know, controversial opinion I know, but what if we didn't kill each other? What if we decided to forget all about this and go our separate ways? You're joking. I cannot believe that my father lost to you. Well, I figured it was worth a shot. I will not negotiate with you. I have waited for this day my entire life. And then what? You kill me and then life is grand? I don't think so, buddy. The problem with every revenge scheme is that there's no after party, just more misery. Killing you will define my very existence. I shall surpass my father and lead the Gerudos to take over Hyrule and Termina and this world as well. He's insane. I can tell that there's no reasoning with you. You know, I try to give you the benefit of the doubt, try to let you off easy, but now all you want to do is kill me. Well, I should warn you, you're gonna die. <laughs> really? I can't move. Let her go. <sighs> no. You won't get the best of me. I see now. You must have wizard blood flowing through your veins. Yeah, maybe you should have done more research. Of course, that's Broken Castle. So you're the descendant of Merlin and Decius. Smartest thing you've said all day. Ready to quit this BS? I will kill you, and then the girl, by whatever means necessary. Your move, asshole. Ugh. Let's do it. Your style. Fine by me. 